Ooh, hello, Leo. I was not expecting this. <laughs> I'm Don't worry, I'm holding them. I just want to see if anything else wants to come out in this shuffle. Okay, so hello, Leo. Welcome to the Prism Portal Tarot. I already have a card for you. I have two cards for you. This is going to be your reading for the summer love of 2024. So summer love, what do we got? Well, we got your person coming in is the devil. So Capricornian energy. But that doesn't mean they're a Capricorn, but they might have a Capricorn Venus, Capricorn Moon. Check it out. Um, and also these energies are always reversible. So if you find me when I'm explaining your person, on it sounds like I'm explaining you, hold on to that and reverse the energies as you see fit. So we've got them coming in as the devil and the five of wands is their energy. So this person is fighting some demons for sure. This person, this person is fighting with themselves. I think that they're having a crisis of conscious of who they are and what they want and how to get it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I don't love this energy for you, Leo. So again, this, this reading is not, you know, if this is not for you, remember to check your other placements. Okay. This is going to be for some portion of the Leo Collective, um, but I do encourage you to listen to the whole reading because once we have the full picture, you're going to know how this fits into your life. So some of you, if you know, and this, this applies to you if you are single, if you are happily married, happily not married, happily in a union or not, whatever, all of you, these are love energies, okay? So it's apply it to the love in your life. All right. Some of you don't even know this person, but I see that this person has demons. They are fighting them and I don't love this energy. It certainly is not a good energy for starting a relationship or having a relationship with somebody. So I have your energies coming in as the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Boy, oh boy. Yeah. Okay. So you're, to me, I feel like you've been focused on communication with this person for some time now. Um, and you're thinking, you're thinking about starting something with this person, or you're wondering about this person, um, regardless of whatever they're giving off on the surface of like what they seem to be about. Maybe they're a happy go lucky person. There's a lot going on here, but behind the surface, their energy is very fraught. I am looking at somebody who is fighting for their own integrity, somebody that is possibly battling a secret addiction to, of some kind to drugs, alcohol, or like a porn addiction. I'm looking at somebody, uh, your person as being chained to something that they have no control over. So like they don't have any control over themselves with XYZ, whatever that is. And they've been fighting to get that control, but they don't quite have it yet. Meanwhile, you, you're looking for a fresh new start with somebody uh, or a fresh start with this person. Why? Mm. I wasn't going to pull it, but I've got the red and the white rose coming out for your energy between you. And then I'm going to pull one more. Okay. So I have the red and the white rose. And then can I just get one more for the energy between them? I know what this means. So just one uno momento, my darlings. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, okay. Here we go. So, all right, Leo. I'm not entirely sure, like, what's been going on with you in terms of love. It seems like everything is always coming up roses for Leo. So I'm very curious about this energy because it doesn't look like a great love connection if I am being honest. Now, Chiron, this is your, oh boy, now I get it. I think that for some of you, this is a karmic relationship and you've been wanting to make something work that isn't going to work. You've been wanting to call something like something real and it's not something real. Um, some of you, this is like a fantasy that you have about this person. Um, and some of you have gone through a major lesson with this person. Um, I gotta tell you, I feel like for some of you that have already gone through this process with this person and you're sensing it in another person, like you're sensing the same lesson that you got like 
for the first, like maybe there was like, maybe there was like a codependency problem or maybe you are, were always attracted to addicts and you didn't know why. Like, why do I always attract people that have addiction problems? Or why do I always attract people that have drama? That's something to look at in terms of your shadow. So look into Carl Jung shadow work, um, J U N G. Um, because your subconscious might be sort of driving the bus here. You might have an inner child driving the bus, but I see this person bringing you a lesson that was hard won and you need to learn it. So listen, if you are the person that is wondering, should I start a relationship with this person? It's new and I like them and they seem to have a lot of drama and stuff going on, but I'm going to excuse it. And I think it's going to be great. Run, 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 run. Don't do this. If you are already in this situation with this person, know that it is karmic. This is not your forever person, okay? This is somebody that you needed to learn a lesson from, a hard one lesson, a lesson that you did not want to learn, a lesson that cost you quite a bit. And I think it's been very painful, but it, you will be better for it. And there was a reason, there's like this fundamental reason why you needed to learn this lesson. So can I just get some more information here on as to... Yeah, let's use the wandering eye. Um, I want to just know, like, can I please know for Leo, please, like, what is this lesson that Leo needs to learn with this person? And I'm not to say, you know, like, oh, you're not going to be with this person because you need to learn a lesson, but it's perhaps like both of you need to learn a lesson. I think there's some forbidden fruit here. Somebody cheated. Somebody lied. Somebody did something that was a little less than fully in line with integrity. Okay. It was probably them. Um... But I'm not saying it wasn't you. Knight of Pentacles. So this is a lot of knight energy. It feels very like you have wanted to have a knight in shining army, armor come in and fix things for you. Fix the hurt and the pain that you have in your heart. And it's you've been looking for it in the form of a person instead of looking in the mirror and seeing yourself. You've been looking for it in the form of somebody outside of you that will come in and sweep you off your feet and make it all better and change you with their love. I'm not saying love doesn't change, but you're not in a healed place right now. You're not, you're not approaching this from a healed place, Leo. Okay, so can I get some information here from the Between Worlds deck? Okay, once again, okay, if you notice, Leo, sometimes I will sit here shuffling for minutes on end while I'm talking. Your cards have come out fast and they have come out like with a like they've been flying out. Doesn't surprise me to see guidance and rage here. Oh my god, Leo. Fire sign. Um okay. This situation is pissing you off. It's brought you all kinds of anger. Um or it's it will if you continue with it. So again, run if this is new. Um, I think that you're very angry about something. Some of you are wanting an apology from this person and listen, you ain't never going to get it. And if you do, it's not going to be now. It's going to be a while from now. So please use this situation as a teaching tool to make yourself better and recognize the patterns that you are falling into when you think about this person, because there is one. Okay, so I'm going to try and get, I want to get a card here from uh, the journey. Okay. Release. You, you have to release this person. This is not a, this is not a healthy relationship, Leo. Now you normally knock it out of the park, but there is something going on here um, in terms of, I think that you need to come to terms with the fact when it's time to let go of something, you need to let go of this. You need to release it. And look, if it's, if it's going to come back, it's going to come back and maybe you'll come back and you'll both be healed and everything will be fine. But for right now, you need to extract what you can from this in terms of what the lesson is for you. Now, listen, the lesson that you think it is right now might not be the lesson a year from now. And that's okay. Just know that it was a learning process. And if you are in too deep with this, I mean, only you know. I'm going to be pulling. I mean, I was going to say if you're in too deep with this, there's no such thing. You can pull the plug at any time. Okay? Now, of course, if you're in a happy union, I don't mean just go file for divorce. That's not what I mean. But you need to remember 
maybe perhaps why you wanted to be with this person in the first place. And if it was out of, I'm going to win him over everybody else, or I'm going to have them, you know, come hell or high water, I'll prove what a wonderful person I am and they'll just love me so much. I'm getting a pull for the sexual energy and notice that it's not coming out quick. All of the other cards came out quick. Sexual energy feels a little stuck for you, Leo. What's going on here? Oh my God. Yeah, your person is addicted to porn. One of you is addicted to porn. I don't know. It might be you, Leo. So you see how they all just came out like this? Now, I'm not going to pull all of these. I'm, I'm going to look at them and I'm going to sort of see which ones apply. But it's important that... Here, let me fix these. So it's important that we remember that this is not a good time to be having sex. Um, I don't... And if you are having sex, I think someone is like coming a little too fast you know what I'm saying? <laughs> got, we, the, your sexual energy is not in sync at all okay so let me see here yeah i have the tower okay i have the five of swords and i have the four of cups so we're going to look at this for a second. Hold on. So no, if you're, listen, sometimes we watch tarot readings for a yes or no. This is a no, baby. <laughs> you do not want this. Okay. <laughs> um, no, it's not only a no, it's a hell no. Um, your sexual energy right now is, is, um, I think that this might be a good time for you to be like using self-love of some kind, but it's not a good time to be matching up with somebody. Notice we have two fives. Fives are the, the, the sign of, or the number of conflict. Okay. So we have conflict here. I don't love it. I do not love it. Um, some of you, if, I, I just, I, I need to know. It's like tower. Yeah, I think the tower goes here. I just want to find like the best place for it. I'm going to put this over here <laughs> because showing a lady sometimes isn't actually, I'm just going to set it to the side because there's just really no room for it. It's the four of cups. I need to draw some charms here for you. I am not looking at these, but with the four of cups, what I want you to keep in mind is that you are being presented with more than one choice and you don't know it. So I think that you need to look at your other options and sometimes the option is no option. It's okay to just say no. All right, baby, you might have a baby with this person. You might call this person baby. This person may be your baby. Like, you, you know, you may talk to each other like that. Also, if you all don't wanna be pregnant, be really watching yourself this summer because it looks like you fertile as hell. Even if you didn't think you were. I have a flower growing on a cactus. And it looks very much like um, this person. It's like trying to extract water from a, a, a cactus, right? I have Halloween, a little jack-o'-lantern here. That looks very much like... It's like you're trying to make this situation more than what it was. Maybe you've been trying to make it more than what it is since like last ho October. Or like this is somebody that's going to be coming into your life in October. But you're going you're gonna to be able to know it point it out and walk away from it. If that's the case, we have mushrooms, psychedelic. We have a flamingo, which makes me think of Florida. Some of you might be from Florida. Some of you are Floridians or there's like a Florida tie in. You're thinking about going to Florida with this person. Um, I have a lipstick. Yes. You like looking nice. You know, you want to like, you want to, um, like dress up for this person. Um, and there's nothing wrong with looking nice, but it's important um, that you do that for yourself, not just for, you know, I was going to say jag off, but <laughs> I have a little lizard. So I feel like this lizard represents the heat. We will be going through a heat wave this summer. Um, it looks, we've got a, if that is, if we are in the northern hemisphere we have a whale i hope you can go to the beach we have one two three four yeah we do have a spider 
you made this person I feel like got their like you got like caught up in their web of lies or something and it's really not good like you are detangling yourself from this person you have this is a heart you have love in your heart and you deserve love but I think that this person like the lesson was like you don't have to take all the love that you're offered if it's if it feels like this does that make sense and for those of you that are fantasizing that this person is going to suddenly like change and be better run just run don't walk okay because it ain't never gonna happen I do not like this energy at all for you. Not not right now. So I'm sorry about that, Leo, but sometimes you just need to hear it. You know what I'm saying? If this was not for you, please check your other placements. Check your Venus sign. Check your moon sign. Check your Mercury sign. Check theirs. Cross watch. There's information out here for all of you. And sometimes it's not going to be your sun sign or your rising sign. It's going to be your north node. You know, it's going to be other placements. So check your birth chart. And if you're drawn to a reading and it's not your sign, Watch it. There's a message for you in there. Okay. 555 angel number. So if you want to know more about me, go ahead and check out in the description box below. I am a filmmaker. I have won awards for filmmaking. Not to put a, too fun a point on it. I'd love to share my films with you guys. They are in the description box below. I have a film about astral projection and it's really fun and it's really cool. It's called Borrelia Borealis. It's kind of like a laser light show. Very fun to watch while enhanced. And I also have playlists for you. There's Leo playlists, other Zodiac playlists, pick a card readings and timeless tarot. And I really appreciate the subscribes. It really helps the channel. I don't know why it's been so hard to grow. I really do try to be consistent with you guys. So please tell your friends. I, I'm, I've been doing this almost a year and I just can't seem to get to 500 followers no matter what I do. So I really appreciate your help. I would love to I would love to get to a thousand by the by the end of the year. That would be lovely. Thank you so much and I will see you in the cards. Bye Leo.